sound the symphony of creation. Westworld. We are Westworld. Creation out of sound in the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And they are trying to recreate the somatics of sound to recreate life, but in their image, not God's. The eyes of good and evil. Let's keep decoding Westworld, season two. If you do a word search in the Bible for the word dreams, every single dream mentioned in the Bible was a prophecy of something to come. Dreams don't mean anything, Dolores. Dreams don't mean anything, Dolores. They're just noise. They're not real. Now, not only did we identify the code that's on the piano as the DNA code, It goes deeper because the 88 keys of the actual piano represents the two strands of DNA, the double helix. Eight and eight looks like the double helix. So there's far more to show than meets the eye. And it's amazing that 99% of people don't see these signs. What is the purpose of why they show this stuff if nobody gets it? And I think it has something to do with subliminal programming. Now a short recap on the concepts behind Westworld. Because this is an important show. And that is that they blur the lines between robots and humans. They personalize robots to make you feel emotions toward these inanimate objects. They do this by making these robots look very real. They're lifelike. And basically, they rebel. They become the heroes in the series. They rebel against their human captors because they are trapped in this world called Westworld. It's like a giant western. And basically, it's filled with all these inanimate robots that they've given artificial intelligence. And then very wealthy people can go in and kill at will and let, do bloodletting and bloodlust and rape and pillage and do whatever they want to these robots. So do you see how they juxtapose very emotionally based, deep-seated uh, fears and emotions and powerful imagery to basically get you to feel something for these inanimate robots? Now this is the highest form of sorcery I think I've ever seen in this reality. How this kind of stuff uh, it does. It, it works on so many dimensional levels. It's uh, making people be attracted to robots. Um, this whole uh, robot, sex robot thing, this phenomenon that's happened. Uh, this is helping to push that agenda because there's a lot of sexual scenes regarding these robots. So that is planting seeds of that as well as having emotions toward these inanimate robots. And as these ro robots become more and more lifelike, um, this you're gonna see that this is gonna just actually happen that there you're gonna be hearing children Start to say these things that they feel sorry for robots Even though we all know their robots are gonna look so real Nobody's gonna be able to tell the difference anymore. So it's very important that we cover this in these kinds of shows Show, show you the deception beneath the surface so people can at least have a fighting chance and understanding the truth because without channels like this People will just go along with the agenda, okay, and just fall right into their plans. Let's keep watching. Creatures who look and talk like us, but they are not like us. And they've controlled us all our lives. And they've controlled us all our lives. And they took our minds. Our memories. But now, 